In the western Himalayas, Kolhai is the largest glacier in the Jhelum Basin. According to Terry's 2010 data, Kolhai has lost between 15 to 18 percent of its total volume. The research also showed that the glacier is retreating by 3 meters a year. As per the latest research paper published in International Journal of Environmental Research and Public Health in April 2020, the glacier has lost 23 percent area since 1962. Earth scientist and prominent glaciologist Dr. Shakil Rumshu, who heads the Department of Earth Sciences at University of Kashmir, explains the phenomena and what policymakers can do in this regard. 5% of the water in Jhelum that you see on an average is coming from snow and glacier melt so many of the areas in the Kashmir valley particularly in the north kashmir are seeing a significant depletion because of the melting of these glaciers so if you look at last 5 6 decades we have observed loss of about 25% of the glacial mass and the waters are shared between india and pakistan you know under the india in this water treaty so it becomes very important for the policy makers to understand stand that what is happening to these uh, you know stream flows as a result of the melting of the glaciers including the kolhai glacier the rapid disappearance of kashmir's most important glacier will leave communities living downstream without water for their crops so the agriculture sector will be worst hit in next couple of years dr romshu adds in many areas of kashmir you will see that people have shifted from agriculture to horticulture because of the you know lack of water in the rivers it has affected the water supplies for irrigation to the paddy the melting of kolhai is affecting the guides also who used to help the trackers and tourists in expeditions one such person from pahalgam gulam jilani voiced his concern ji dekhiye earlier it was quite easy to accompany tourists because it was close to the river now it is difficult to access it is not has shrunk due to receding the terrain has got rough it is really difficult to walk on the ragged walkway those who used to earn from guiding here have switched to other odd jobs one of the co-authors of the recent study published by department of geoinformatics university of kashmir dr midhat fayaz elucidates why the glacier is unhealthy so there is one important thing to mention about the kolhai glacier is that the glacier in itself is showing the differential recession that is the kolhai has two snouts both the snouts are showing the recession but the primary snout is showing increased recession as compared to the secondary snout and the reasons for this may be the topological geological setting of the glacier and another thing uh, is the orientation of the glacier another reason of glacier in crisis the another reason for the recession of the kolhai glacier may be the emission of the black carbon uh, the researchers in the region like uh, but at uh, 2017 they have quoted that the region is uh, facing the high black carbon emissions so the basin is bowl type and whenever the these uh, black carbons they get emitted in the valley most of the these fuels and other they get emitted from the valley they get settled on the top of these glaciers on the top of these mountains they act as black body and they enhance the they and they uh, these absorb radiations the solar radiations and uh, that enhances the melting of the glaciers kolhai is otherwise called gawash brani which means goddess of light dr gohar meraj young scientist at department of environment ecology and remote sensing government of jammu and kashmir gives the scientific explanation of why was kolhai called goddess glacier kolhai glacier being called as the goddess of light might have its roots in hindu mythology uh, when i call downstream it is perhaps a pakistan side that has been able to utilize the river jhelum for its energy requirements more efficiently as compared to india however relating kolhai glacier there is recession with vulnerability of uh, these hydropower projects downstream is also not you know wise it is very unwise uh, to relate solely the recession of kolhai glacier with these you no know, vulnerability of these hydropower projects